guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with my May favorites, showing you everything that I loved throughout the month of May. If you're curious about this makeup look, I am in the middle of filming my e.l.f. camo CC review, so that should be up now. Um, and in addition to that, I also did film a bunch of Instagram reels, so um, check me out on Instagram if you want to see some mini reviews, things like that. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out with something that I love so much. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And when they came out with the original formula of these, the shade Glossy Fawn and some kind of coral shade I wore nonstop. They're these L'Oreal, almost very YSL-like products, which L'Oreal makes YSL, so could be something to it. They are the Glow Paradise uh, Lip, what do they call these? I don't know what they call them, Glow Paradise, and it's in the shade Peach Charm. Just so easy, so comfortable, um, really, like, you don't need to worry about it wearing off or, like, moving around. You can apply it without a mirror. Super easy. It does kind of have some slip on the lip, so it's not going to last forever, but it is really, really comfortable and such a good, easy shade. So, really love these. They come in a bunch of different shades. This one does not have any um, shimmer in it from what I can tell. Some formulas do, but yeah, I really, really like these. For a while, I did not do winged liner, and I'm still not doing winged liner like every day like I used to, but what I have been doing is just sort of a little flick out the corner kind of, and I've really been liking to do it with brown. Am I maturing? I don't know. What's the vibe? Um, something's changing, but this is the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. I really love Benefit's Roller Liner, so I was excited when they came out with this. I did a comparison in another video a little while back and get ready with me. This is like a felt tip pen. I like the brown. It's a deep brown, but it's still has like a smidge of warmth. It's not like it's not like a ready brown, but it looks different and a little bit softer than using black. And I think that this tip is a little bit more, as they believed, as they say, extremely precise than the other one. But uh, I, I like this. I, I like these liners. Pretty much I use exclusively these, um, the Benefit Roller Liner or the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Those are the ones I find the easiest to work with uh, because I'm not good at doing eyeliner. I'll tell you that right now for free. Um, moving on to something controversial, which like, when is something not controversial nowadays? There's always some kind of hubbub. This is the Jones Road What the Foundation Moisture Tint. Now I talked about, I purchased this like before everything got weird on TikTok because someone had said to me like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I was curious about the brand, but I didn't want to like just buy the Miracle Balm. It didn't interest me enough for that. So when they launched the foundation, I was like, perfect. I'll buy the foundation. I'll test it out, see how it goes. I probably won't like it. Turns out I really, really like it. And turns out a bunch of people were upset about it, but I think... I don't know, were a bunch of people upset about it or did one person just say something? I, I really have not participated in anything that's gone on with it because I'm like, I know that I really quite enjoy it. So if you want to check out my review of this foundation, I will link it down below. Uh, a lot of people said, because I was using it with a wet sponge, a lot of people said Bobbi Brown recommended to not use it with a wet sponge, but honestly, I had, I had a good experience with it with a wet sponge using just a little bit at a time. I show you how I applied in that video. Really lightweight gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous natural glow on the skin. You can totally wear it on its own. The shade match for me is phenomenal. It's not like the most long wearing foundation ever, but it really looks so good on the skin. If you have super oily skin, I'd probably stay away from it. Um, but combo normal to dry, I think there's a lot of potential there. It really looks so good. So, you know, do what you want with that. Then I've got a new drugstore mascara that has blown me away. It's not what I'm wearing right now. I actually tested it out a mascara that I don't love so much for my Instagram reels because people are always like, well, every mascara looks good on you, but when I'm like, well, this one doesn't really. Like, it's not that it looks bad, but my lashes have looked way better. So I'll link the reel for this one down below. Historically, I don't think I've really felt any type of way about Physicians Formulas, mascaras. I don't remember any of them blowing me away. If anything, I remember them being kind of like meh, kind of whatever. But this one is so good. This is like my current favorite mascara, I'm using it over everything else. Uh, it's the Physicians Formula Diamond Mascara Mineral Wear. They also came out with like a clear formula, which I tried that again, I think in my most recent Get Ready With Me. I'll link that down below. I didn't love that, but this, the brush looks not like a lot, like the really, really short plastic bristles. You get so much length, so much volume, super, super black, really buildable. I don't have issues with it uh, smudging or anything like that, but I don't really have that issue anyways. Maybe I did a little bit because my lashes were so long that they were kind of touching. 
Um, but yeah, I really that that normally physicians formula mascaras i'm like take it or leave it i don't care but that one definitely if you've not tried their stuff you tend to like the same mascaras as me um definitely recommend that then i decided to test out i've had this for a little while and never used it but my friend jess was like oh it makes an amazing primer and i recently did a video on my favorite serums that make great primers so i'll link that down below but i think this probably could make it into the mix um for the next one this is the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir uh, Replexium Serum for younger looking miracle skin. So I never really used this as just like a serum serum as part of my skincare routine. As I mentioned in that other video, there's a lot of serums out there that just make great makeup bases. So I'll put it on um, after I've done my skincare when I'm sitting down to do my makeup, potentially a little bit later. Um, but this is so nice. It adds hydration to the skin. I don't know if it has... Does it have like mica in it or anything? It's kind of this milky texture. It's not super oily. I just feel like it kind of plumps the skin. It makes it look dewy. You can wear it on no makeup days. You can even mix it in with your foundation if you want to make it a little bit lighter coverage. But yeah, maybe not like fully magical, but definitely close to it. I think you could also use this as a liquid highlighter. It just has such a good uh, texture and makes my skin look really good and no matter your skin type even if you're oily I think you can use this because it adds and imparts just a little bit of hydration which then you know your skin might not produce as much oil if it's feeling like plumped and hydrated I feel like I'm talking so fast I don't know it feels like I haven't done a favorites in a little while and I'm just like here's all the stuff I like like I'm panicking take a breath I've got two moisturizers here that I really love uh, I did a nighttime skincare routine I'm not sure if it's out yet but it's coming uh, and in that video I'm using this and I've mentioned many times the COSRX snail mucin it's an essence kind of serum texture but it contains snail mucin which is actually very good for your skin's moisture barrier it helps to protect and repair the skin great light hydration but it is snail so I mean, I know that turns some people off for me, not that it turns me on, but I like what it does for my skin. So I decided to pick up the uh, COSRX Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I got this from Walmart. You can also purchase this brand from YesStyle and from Amazon. It says it's formulated with 92% snail secretion filtrate or mucin. This cream helps to naturally create the appealing glow of healthy skin. And like I said, almost with the Charlotte Tilbury, this is another really great makeup base. I feel like on no makeup days as well, it makes my skin just look immediately hydrated, but over time it feels like it helps to soften and plump the skin. This one does have a slightly nastier texture than, this, than the Essence. I feel like the Essence really just feels like a watery serum. This, and I know I'm trying to sell it here, but I want to show it to you anyways. This does give a little more snaily vibes. The texture doesn't feel gross on the skin. It doesn't feel sticky. It's just the packaging is a little bit messy. Don't be scared. No smell. Um, if you want something snail free, I believe this is a really good option. It says it's a cream, but it's fully a gel. And again, if you have oily skin, but any skin type, this is another one that looks so good under makeup or so good it's on its own. And I just love the packaging. I love everything about it. And I really like Innisfree. This is their dewy jelly dewy glow jelly cream with juju cherry blossom and it says it's a cream but if you see the texture it's very much a gel but it, it's more I would say feels a little bit more hydrating than some of the like uh Neutrogena gel creams that are for oily skin this feels more like one of their gel creams that's meant for drier skin but it's not heavy but just imparts a beautiful amount of hydration uh, I really like it I've used this as both a moisturizer and a makeup base if you want to use it at night I like adding in a little bit of uh, oil to it just to bump it up it says that it's a clear gel cream that de de delivers abundant hydration to dry and dull skin for a moist and revitalized look bringing back the word moist um yeah I really love this to remove my makeup at the end of the night, I've absolutely been loving the First Aid Beauty Cleansing Oil and Makeup Remover. Really nice, super, super liquidy. Does an awesome job when I'm doing my double cleanse. I'll just go onto my face with dry skin, a couple of pumps, mix it in, and then slowly add water. It removes all of my makeup, and then I'll go in with my cleanser. It's just very simple. I've also been using it for quite some time, and I'm only down here. You only need a little bit. Uh, like I said, it is safe for sensitive skin. Um, I don't know if it has like other, it's, it's no artificial fragrance dermatologist tested. I don't know that it has like things that are necessarily hydrating in there or anything, but it just does a really good job removing my makeup. Doesn't leave my face feeling like tight or dry. And then I'll go in with my cleanser that might be say hydrating or have actives in there, but this makes a great makeup remover. 
In the shower, I've been loving this from Biosense. It's the Squalene and Enzyme Sugar Body Scrub Melting Exfoliator with plant-derived squalane. This is so nice. I love body scrubs. I use them almost every time I get a shower, whether I don't know if you should or not. Um, but the first ingredient in here is sugar. It says applies to damp skin, massage, and rinse. I find with scrubs, if my body is like definitely damp over wet that's the best way to actually get it um like into your skin and have the water not sort of wash it away right away this is really thick it's sugar based it just does a really good job smoothing my skin but doesn't leave it feeling sensitive and it's also got the enzymes in there that help with exfoliation outside of the sugar uh and how do, what does it smell like again really nice kind of like uh Sort of rosy but not in a yeah because there's rose hip oil in there which is really nice a little bit of orange really beautiful scent and then in my hair I've actually been applying this in the shower when my hair is more or less soaking wet uh, and I love the shampoo from this line but I just am recent to trying the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint and Keratin helps to nourish and renew my hair has had a lot of damage over the past year not from like heat or anything but well is it damage if it's like stress and life getting to me but anyways natural chemically processed color treated or heat styled hair um and it helps with breakage deta for detangling improves manageability nourishes um, improves the look of split ends protective barrier so i really like this especially if you you tend to use a lot of product you get a lot of product in here um and i like coat my hair with this when i'm getting out of the shower when it's quite wet uh, and i really like it and i feel like that helps because i've been doing slick back buns because my hair has been damaged and i know some people said like oh like don't do slick back bun if you're like losing hair but i'm also like well like i don't know what else style to do my, like they gotta find a happy medium sometimes, you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm only doing this when I'm like filming and going out, um, not just on the average day. Am I slicking back my hair? But anywho, really love that. I just talked so fast. We're done now. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.